It's what we refer to as a hot bench. The justices in today's emergency hearing at the Utah Supreme Court really peppered lawyers for Colby Jenkins about whether a number of ballots sent to an out-of-state processing center ought to be counted. The saying goes that what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. In an emergency hearing, the state's top court considered congressional candidate Colby Jenkins' request to order county clerks to count more than 1,100 ballots. He claims they were mailed before the election deadline, but sent to an out-of-state postal service processing center where they were postmarked too late. Those ballots head down to Vegas with a good probability that they won't get stamped the same day that they're mailed, maybe not even the next day either. Then they turn up after a few wild days, late and untimely, with responsibilities ignored. And Utah, like a willfully blind spouse, looks the other way. Jenkins argues the state is shirking its duty. Our state unfortunately has outsourced the ability to vote to an entity that we do not control. How is what's happening here an interference to prevent the exercise of the right to vote when the statute allows for multiple avenues to exercise that vote and only one requires it to go through the postal service. The court grilled Jenkins lawyers about ballot access. Are there any of these areas that don't have drop boxes where people don't have another option other than putting it in the mail? There hasn't been any allegation here that this is somehow unreasonable. Lawyers for county clerks and the lieutenant governor argue there's many ways for Utahns to vote so no one's right is being infringed upon. And again it goes back to the the duty to have your ballot postmarked on time, that responsibility lies with the voter, not with the Postal Service. And to that end, we have counties telling voters, get your ballots in early to make sure they are postmarked by the deadline. I tend to agree that we would have to declare the postmarking statute unconstitutional to, to give uh, Mr. Jenkins the relief that he requests. The justices appeared skeptical of Jenkins' arguments. Certainly we want to win our, our election, but more importantly, we are here fighting so that every legal vote, every legal ballot gets counted. It's been a close race between Jenkins and incumbent Congresswoman Celeste Malloy. A recount found him losing to her by 176 votes. If he loses in court, Jenkins tells reporters he may ask the legislature to address this issue. Regardless whether we, we win in this case or not, this cannot happen again. The justices gave no indication on when they expect to issue a ruling, but those general election ballots for November must begin to be printed by the end of this month. At the Matheson Courthouse, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.